with countries that share neither our goals nor our values. In some cases, as with our support for Saudi Arabia's proxy war in Yemen, U.S. policies risk generating even more extremism. Let's just plain get rid of some of the most corrosive and dangerous lobbying practices. The trial of Donald Trump's campaign manager has exposed how foreign governments hide their efforts to influence the American government through lobbying. We should ban Americans from getting paid to lobby for foreign governments, period. If foreign governments want to express their views, they can use their diplomats. Let me just make sure we're clear on this. Secretary Perry, do you agree that any agreement to transfer our sensitive nuclear technology to Saudi Arabia should ensure that they cannot use that technology to develop a nuclear weapon, no matter which company makes the reactors or how high their profits might be? Not just from the United States, but should come all around the world. Otherwise, we empower dictators to kill journalists who ask hard questions. The second one is, why does everyone ask right now why Donald Trump is not stepping up here? Why isn't he more aggressive with Saudi Arabia? Is it possible that Donald Trump's hotels are at risk? His financial dealings, his family's financial dealings? Uh, if we could see his taxes, does he owe money? to the Saudis? Nobody knows because Donald Trump has kept all that secret. This is the most corrupt administration in living history. And we are now watching the implications of that. Do we need a strong response on Saudi Arabia? Absolutely. And Donald Trump is showing he's not capable. Equal time, Mr. Deal. I want to ask about what's happening uh, between Qatar and its neighbors. Last week, Saudi Arabia severed all diplomatic and economic ties with Qatar, and almost immediately, Bahrain, the uh, UAE, Egypt, and Yemen did the same. This crisis began in part because it was reported that the leader of Qatar gave a speech praising Iran and criticizing other countries in the region. Now it appears that that was fake news and that the leader of Qatar gave no such speech. Now the media has reported that the FBI believes that it was actually the Russians who planted the story. I don't want to ask a question that depends on classified information. So let me ask this question instead. If the news reports are accurate, what motive would the Russians have had for doing something like that? Mr. Secretary, might you be able to answer that?